Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing the final look of my Modern Disney uh, Villain series, which is a female Hades. So if you'd like to see what I do, just keep on watching. So starting off, I'm going to just be going into the water activated face paint from Snazzerer. I'm going to mix white, blue, and black, because he kind of has like a blue-gray skin, but it's a lighter on the lighter side. So I'm going to just mix a little bit of black, mostly white, and then some blue. This is the future. Okay, now I'm going to take just the blue and do some slight contouring with that before I go in with any kind of shadow to do shading. This is the future. Evolution. Now to start doing some other shading, I'm going in with the shade Indigo from Coastal Sense. Let me see what brush do I want to use here. I'm going to use the Royal and Magnical Moto Pro Chisel Brush for this. And dip that in. Coat the brush pretty nicely and I'm going to stamp that or I want the contour as well. Okay, now I'm going to go into the e.l.f. blush palette and I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm going to use that to add some color to my cheeks. I'm just using the Aesthetica P12 brush for this. Swirl that in there. You know, this may not be the best brush. It's kind of too fluffy. <laughs> Let's see. I have this really small kabuki brush from Wet n Wild I think I'm going to use. It has cat hair on it. Now I'm going to go into the shade Midnight Blue from Coastal Sense, and I'm going to use that to really uh, just sharpen up some of the contour. I'm just using a small blending brush for this.
This is the future. Human error. Evolution. Now I'm going to go back into that shade Indigo, taking the Luxie 209 large shader brush, and I'm not going to use too much. And I'm going to use that to contour the sides of my nose here. Okay, now for my brows, I think I'm going to go in with a slightly darker gray tone to fill them in. I'm just going to use the Water Active Face Paint with some water and an angled brush. This is the future. Okay, now starting off with eyes, I'm going to use this just to fill in the gaps from where the face paint will meet the transition shade on the top and the bottom. I'm going to just use that same Luxie brush and the shade Wild Wisteria from Coastal Scents. Just use that to fill in areas right under the brow and along my lower lashes as well. Okay, now I'm going to go into the shade Deep Grape from Coastal Scents, and I'm going to use it as my transition shade. Just using a Wet n Wild blending brush for this. I think I'm just going to keep the eyes pretty simple. I'm going to just put that midnight blue shade all over my lid and see how I like it then. <laughs> Roll into my crease first to blend it together with deep grape. and then really pack it on there. For the lower lashes, I'm just using a smaller little detail brush. I'm not pressing it closest to my lower lashes because I do want to add some glitter. I'm putting it below and then kind of dragging it down. Now for the lower lash line, I'm going in to the J-Cat Beauty Prismetal Chrome Eye Mousse in the shade Tricky Gesture. Gesture. <laughs> Not gesture. And I'm going to use a small little detail brush for this. I'm going to pick it up. And then I'm going to... I did a Hades look a while back, and this is kind of similar to that. And I really liked the gold detail I did, so I'm going to get up on my lower lashes and really press that there and drag it all the way across on the lower lashes. So I realized I forgot to do my highlights. So I'm going to go into the BH Cosmetics Blacklight Highlight Palette and I'm taking the shade Queen, which is the blue shade. And I'm going to use that to highlight my face. Using my Wet n Wild Unicorn Highlighting Brush, I'm just going to dip into that. Hit the 
highest points on my cheeks. Get some on my cupid's bow. I'm really gonna go heavy on the cupid's bow and the nose. Just to really get that blue to shine through. I might add a little more up here, actually. Went very, very heavy on the nose. <laughs> And I'm going to actually pop some on the inner corners, I think, as well. Just going to use my finger for this. Okay, now I'm going to go into the Wet n Wild Mega Liner in the shade Black, and I'm going to use that to line my lids, because I am going to throw on some falsies. Then for mascara, I'm only going to coat my top lashes. This is the Double uh, Butter London Double Decker Lashes Mascara. Sorry if you hear my stomach rolling. Now the lashes I'm going to use are by a brand called We Leak W Leak Beauty W L E E C Beauty Lashes, and this is a, a brand I got off of Amazon. It came, this is the style F36, came with 15 pairs for like around 15 bucks, so it's pretty much a dollar a pair. This is what they look like, and I did use a pair yesterday just to try them out, and I did like them, so I'm going to throw on that same pair real quick. Just using the Kish Lash, Lash Glue, a strip adhesive, my bad, with aloe in the clear shade, and I'll be right back. Okay, this is what they are looking like on. Pretty dramatic, but and like feel like I'm a flyaway. <laughs> okay, let's see what next. Do I just have lips now? I think I just have my lips to do. <sighs> okay, for my bottom lip, I'm going in to the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Lipstick in the shade Lavender Crown. Well, no. <laughs> That's slightly more purple toned than I want, so I'm going to just go into the Sleepy hollow shade, which is more of a true gray, and use that for my bottom lip. Now I'm going to let that dry real quick. <laughs> for my top lip, I want to go into the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Lipstick in the shade Darkness Falls, which is a dark blue. Okay, now I'm going to let that dry, <laughs> and then I'm going to throw on a wig and paint the rest of my chest, and I will be right back. Okay, so here's the final look with the wig on and the rest of my chest painted. So yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!